What's up guys, back with another video and today we have some great topic iPhone 13. There have been tons of leaks and rumors considering these iPhones and some of them are actually no longer rumors because I have actually three pieces of information that are pretty much confirmed and they are definitely coming to the 2021 iPhones. So I can't wait to share them with you. But before we start, make sure to press the like button if you are gonna enjoy this video, smash that subscribe button for content like that and much more, and let's get to our proper topic. So the first thing I wanna share with you, and that is pretty much confirmed, and that is definitely happening, is finally promotion display. If you don't know what promotion display is, it's basically higher refresh rate on the display, which means that the display will be smoother, it will be running twice as fast when it comes to frame rate than standard iPhone display, which will give you overall better experience. And the great thing is that we are finally getting it this year. Apple couldn't pull that off a year before, they were trying hard, but due to the uh, lack of LTPO displays, which basically allow you to vary the refresh rate, does save the battery. They couldn't pull that off, the iPhones would just drain too much and that wouldn't work properly. We know that Apple wouldn't lower the resolutions like other manufacturers were doing, so it just couldn't work. Now they finally have everything they need, so you can expect on Pro models and only on Pro models, these type of displays, high refresh rate displays are basically the same stuff you have on your iPad Pro, but you know, these are OLED displays, so they require a little bit more tweaking and you know, tech inside to make that high refresh rate and LTPO thing possible. But this is finally happening, so this would be, I think, a great upgrade. And personally, I can't wait for that. And as I said, this is pretty much confirmed and that is happening 100%. Another thing that's rumored to be happening is smaller notch and some modifications to it. Well, honestly, I don't know about that. Like, you gotta realize one thing. Apple designed the notch and iPhone 10 back in 2017 for the purpose. And the purpose was to create new look of the iPhone and make them kinda, you know, special and significant, design them by their own way. And that's exactly what they achieved. I mean, when you see the notch on an iPhone, you know it's an iPhone, you don't think about other phones, you just know it's an iPhone. So now for them to modify the notch and do something with it, well, that may be the reason they may not be wanting to remove it that much. And people are saying that they might be shrinking that and stuff like that. Well, there is a possibility it may be happening, but is it happening for sure? It's hard to tell honestly. You gotta remember that this year is probably S year, which means basically that we're gonna get some upgrades, some good upgrades, because you gotta remember that some of the best iPhones have been iPhone S, like iPhone 5S, iPhone 6S. They brought a lot to the table, great performance, great software support, and some great features for the users. But like, speaking of users, you gotta realize that most of them, like, we care, but most of the users don't care about the notch anymore. I mean, I've played with multiple iPhones that had notch and it never bothered me. So let alone the users who are really using it. Like, sure, some of them may be hating it, but Apple knows that most people just don't care. And they also know the benefit of keeping the notch, uh, the fact that iPhone is big recognizable and the fact that they don't have to right now, you know, change the design drastically. So. I would be kind of skeptical. Of course, there is a possibility that they will do something with the notch, but I wouldn't be 100% sure. So this is something like, you know, it may be happening, it may be not, we never know. They've been saying about removing the notch or doing something with it uh, ever since iPhone XS through 11 Pro, the 12 was supposed to have 100% smaller notch, and then it turned out they just slimmed the bezels a little bit so the notch would look a little bit smaller, but it's exactly the same size. So I don't know what they are gonna do with that. Eventually they are gonna remove it, but when is this happening? I really don't know, and I doubt that this is this year. Another thing that I wanna mention is obviously the camera changes, and that is, that is obvious, like it's no longer rumored every iPhone has better cameras, the only question is how much better. And well, since this is an S year, not camera year, uh, we are not gonna get some tremendous camera upgrades, I would think. There are some rumors that the ultra wide camera is gonna get basically better, the lens is gonna have six elements instead of five, which will result in better pictures, the aperture is gonna be a little bit better from 2.4 to 1.8, which means that the lens will basically be better. Uh, but I wouldn't expect some tremendous upgrades, and 
I don't think this is that bad. We are still gonna have some upgrades to computational photography thanks to the new A15 chip that I'm gonna talk about a little bit later. But yeah, there are gonna be some camera upgrades. The question only is how much they are gonna upgrade things. But I think that we are, regardless of what they are gonna do, we are gonna get some tremendous camera quality. So I wouldn't worry about whether upgrades are gonna be huge or not. And yeah, speaking of A15 processor, so we're gonna get new processor, it's gonna be faster, it's gonna be more efficient, we all know that. But what it basically means is the fact that this will be a tremendously fast phone. I mean, iPhones have been blazing fast for years and A15 is gonna make it even better, probably not that noticeable, but with promotion display and the better performance overall and the fact that they are gonna be even more efficient and the battery rumors that I'm gonna talk about a little bit later, like this is gonna be some tremendous improvement, like with promotion, with that smoothness and that speed, that is gonna be insane and the experience for overall users, I think is gonna be terrific. So the fact that we are gonna get better performance is obvious, the question is how much? Well, it's still gonna be five nanometer chip, it's still gonna be blazing fast, it's gonna be even faster than the current A14 chip, it's gonna be more efficient. So Apple always excels when it comes to just making the best possible processors. So the A15 is gonna be no exceptions, it's gonna be a monster. And that's what I'm personally expecting. Another thing is bigger battery. Yeah, some iPhones are rumored to be just a little bit like a fraction of a millimeter thicker, which will basically uh, allow Apple to put bigger, maybe better batteries. And I know about that. I think it makes sense since iPhones are gonna have promotion displays, 5G is still gonna be there. There are also some rumors that it's gonna be a little bit better, maybe implemented into the chipset. That's what I've read as well. The processor is also gonna be more efficient and faster. So the bigger battery, the slightly better battery, I think it makes sense since like the iPhone 11 Pro was just perfect when it came to that. 12 Pro was a little bit worse, so maybe they want to step up their game again and I think that would be terrific. I don't think that people would mind that much just making a phone a little bit thicker for the sake of extra like two hours of the battery or screen on time. I think that would be really great, so I'm all in for that. This is nothing confirmed, these are just some speculations, but if they are real, if they are true, I'm all in for that, I mean, bare battery can't hurt, right? There are also some leaks considering camera, and that is LiDAR on all models, and I think that will make sense as well, since like, Pro models will have telephoto and promotion display, so they will be differentiated just enough, so they can put LiDAR on all the possible models, which means iPhone 12s mini and the regular 12s, that is gonna be pretty okay. I mean, not like many people really need that that much, but still, I think it's okay if they are putting extra features. They will still differentiate the models by adding promotion to the pro models and no promotion to the regular models. So the customers will still feel the difference and actually the difference will be bigger than it is now. And because of that, they will also probably put six gigs of RAM on the regular models and all models will just have in the entire series, 12S series, six gigs of RAM. Well, that makes sense since the iPhone 11 series, all models just had four gigs of RAM. So now the pro models will be better because of the promotion and the telephoto. So there will be two significant differences. So they can put extra RAM to the regular models and really nobody will complain about that, I guess. And I think that's pretty probable. That is probably what's gonna happen. I don't think they are gonna go another year with four gigs of RAM on the regular models. Well, not in 2021. So I would definitely expect six gigs of RAM on all possible models. Oh, if you are interested also in the Pro series, there have been some rumors that the Pro models will get one terabyte storage, the possibility of getting that. And I think that's totally okay. I'm all behind that since like the Pro models now can record Dolby Vision HDR videos and that takes a lot of space. So one terabyte, especially for Pro models, is gonna be terrific. And when we are speaking of Pro models and regular models, there are also some rumors considering the fact that the port is gonna be removed and I don't really know what to think about that. What I mean by that is the fact that they are definitely gonna do something with the port. They introduced MagSafe for a reason. So now the customers are using it for a while they will be using it for a while, so they will be used to that. So when they remove the port eventually, it will not hurt that much. But the question is only 
whether they are gonna remove it on all models or maybe some models. I know about that. I can't really tell on what models they would do that since like pro models, it would make sense for them not to remove the board because you know, just plug it into the computer, make some pro stuff with that and whatever. And it would also make sense since the pro models would be like kinda pioneers when it came to removing those boards. So there is that, two different theories. I don't know which one to back up, honestly. I definitely think they will remove ports on some models. I just don't know which. And rumors haven't been totally accurate when it came to saying which models. So we can't tell that for sure. But they are gonna do something with the port and I will expect that 100%. And last but not least is the return of Touch ID. And is that something confirmed? Well, no. This is some kind of speculation saying that Apple will want to, you know, introduce some form of Touch ID so they can compensate for the bad working face ID due to the masks and current situation. So I think if they do that, that's probably gonna be okay. But on the other hand, it's hard for me to imagine they are gonna uh, put in display fingerprint sensor. Well, maybe they proved me wrong with iPad Air when they just put Touch ID in the power button. But still, I don't know what to make of that. I think there is definitely a possibility. Mm -hmm. But one thing that is not possible is the fact that they will remove the notch with Face ID and just make the bezels thicker. Yes, there have been some rumor considering that. And when I heard it, I just didn't know even how to comment that. That is definitely not happening. So uh, the Face ID will probably be here like 100%. The only thing is that if they are gonna add Touch ID, whether it's gonna be under display or maybe in the power button, we don't know that there have been some speculations. So maybe if you are into Touch ID, you may follow the rumors and leaks and subscribe for this channel to see because I'll be covering that as the rumors proceed and we will see. I'm curious if they are gonna really do something with the Touch ID since you know they replaced it with Face ID. They had their reasons, did their stuff and will they now come back to it? Well, we gotta see. So that will be this for now. I think this was pretty interesting stuff covering the iPhone 13 or 12s regardless how it's gonna get named. Three things are certain. Promotion display, better camera and better overall performance. These things are certain. So I think even if those things alone are gonna happen, this is just gonna be some great upgrade, especially considering this promotion display that is really needed and that will be really great having on iPhone finally, just like we had on iPad Pros. And I personally can't wait for that model. I think it's gonna be some great one, regardless if they're gonna do something with the notch and if other rumors are gonna be necessarily true. But yeah, we gotta see to that. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. Hope you liked it. If you wanna see more of this channel, make sure to subscribe. And more importantly, be sure to be well. Until next time and peace.